Mr. Ejder! Elvon's brother wants to kill her! She made a huge mistake sleeping with you! talking all this nonsense. Do you think it is easy to be a wife to him? Why did your daughter do the dirty with my son? I think you need to throw them out. Yeah, throw them out. Shut up! Let's please go. have mercy! Please, 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 Just let them stay. Whatever the reason might be, she came to my door and is begging for help. I can't send her back. My son, what are you doing? What decision is this? I say she'll stay, under my protection. Oh. Now that she has come to our door, it is unsuitable for us to send her back. Do you want me to reject someone who came to our door and is begging for help, Mom? I don't want to hear objections from anyone. She will remain under my protection. I don't want to talk about this issue again. And now, the case is closed. We have all stopped our work now, and are dealing with your ex-girlfriend. You are thoroughly confused, Edgeter. I said she will stay here. Oh, may God bless you. May God bless okay, you. Okay, okay, we understood. Let's take them away now. Come on, come here. Let's go. Let's go. Come, come on, let's go. What's happening? If you're ready, we can go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Oh. What's happening, Edgeter? Why are you so angry right now? Is it about that girl back there? Who is that girl? Why is she crying? Edge to her. They are having trouble and wanted help from us. So what is the trouble? Never mind that. Don't you worry about this. Did you talk with your mom? No, not yet. Well, she'll be calmer now. Let's go and see her. What do you think? I don't know. Enough feeling sorry for yourself now. You achieved what you wanted. How long are you going to stay in this damn house now? Didn't I tell you before to keep away from this house and keep away from my son? I didn't have any other choice. My brother would have me killed. I had to. I had to come to your door. You're a deceitful liar. And I can see right through you. Who knows what's going through that mind of yours or what you're planning to do. I always take the bull by the horns. I'm not deceived at all. Don't think that you are clever or you will come out a loser. Oh, for God's sake! Well, you shut up. And you will leave the first chance you get. And you will keep your mouth shut until you go. After all the things you have done, 
Don't you have any mercy? Don't dare <laughs> never come close to my son. And don't you leave this room, understand? Even your breath will be unseen. <laughs> Did you even hear what I am telling you? Did you hear me, girl? Did you hear me, girl? <laughs> Where is Alvan? Mother! Where is Alvan? She's at Yenel Mesler's farm. What's she doing there? Is it that dishonored Ejder, huh? Oh, that's just great. Does he think that he could do what he wants, huh? He thinks he can have what he wants? Now that we're working for him and on his land? I will kill both Alvan and Ejder! Please stop, <sighs> son! No. Ejder will restore Elvan's honor. Don't do this. How can he restore it, Mom? Ejder is married. Is he going to leave his new bride and marry her? Huh? You stay out of my For way. For God's sake, Basir! Basir! Basir, wait! And so, on one hand, there is Elvan. On the other hand, there's this girl. What are we up against? Just do not give up, Mother. Now that Elvan is here... That means there is a way to get rid of Nagme. Oh, say whatever you want, Safika. I've had enough of this. That's enough. Let's take advantage of this. We'll keep Elvan as a second wife. And if we succeed in making her go to bed with Edgedare, then maybe the city girl will leave. Are you out of your mind, Safika? But listen, once the city girl decides to leave here... That is when we will deal with Elvan. All of these city girls will be gone. And then you can take my uncle's daughter as your sister-in-law. And you would have a wedding for 40 days and 40 nights. Ahmet, just like we arranged it, okay? You keep watch in front of the farm. You will inform me as soon as Elvan goes out. That's what I hope. I'll have my honor back. You really scared me. Why didn't you call? What's that look for? Has something happened? Nagme? You okay? Mm-hmm. When she suddenly appeared, it really scared me. The glass slipped out of my hands. 
Never mind it. Leave it there. Sukran and Atise will clean it. In the morning, you didn't look well. Are you better now? Yes. Glad to hear it. Have a good night. I don't think I can sleep. Do you want to go out? Okay, sure. I'll just have water and come back later, okay? Okay. Have a good night. Mrs. Barricat? Will it always be like this? Will you never accept me? Is that it? Will you always stay furious at me? If you get together without asking your families, you have to accept the consequences. <laughs> and this is nothing. The storm has only begun to brew. Um... My mom says she wouldn't forgive me. And Mother Barraquette is angry. It's not considered unfair. If someone had come and said to you that you would end up marrying a strange guy that... that you don't know, and that you would go live in a different city, would you believe it? I don't think that I would. We made a big decision that affects everyone. So their reactions are normal. They will see our determination in a while and eventually accept this marriage. Don't you worry. Here, I made your favorite soup. Come on. Let's eat while it's hot. So is that lentil soup? It is. Yummy, thanks. Here. <sighs> Want me to help you? No, I can eat by myself. Okay, but will you watch out? Oh. You won't tell my mom, will you, Auntie Besame? She wouldn't let me eat hers. She said I wouldn't eat a meal today. She'll be angry if she sees me eat this. Okay. Okay, dear, don't you worry. I won't tell. Eat. Oh. <laughs> you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> I'll see you this evening. If you would like, we can go out. What do you say? That would be nice. Maybe we can visit my mom? Whatever you want, dear. Huh. Don't be late, okay? I'll miss you too much. Don't you worry. 
I love you a lot. And I love you so much, too. What's happening here? My Aunt Bessemer made some soup for me. Don't talk so much. I am your mother, and you'll only eat whatever I give you. I have some stuff to do in the kitchen. you not to teach motherhood to me I wasn't telling you anything I know that to hear loves that soup so I was Why just... is it that you think you need to feed my son huh I know that you want to make him love you right you should have thought about that when you gave him to us he didn't die you'll never know the love of your son now that you consented to give your son you'll only want him each time that you see him you will keep away from him, and don't you ever even touch him. You will stay away from your son. I don't want to catch you with him. Do you understand me? He is my son, and not yours. He is my son! <laughs> Mom, what did you do? Poor thing, you didn't have to say such mean things, you know? And you even dare to defend that woman? You dare? That woman is the one who gave birth to Tahir! And you're not his real mother! Who do you think you what? are? Ah! You Wait, are no, talking let me to your go. Stop it. Wait. Let me go! Ah! Hear what ah! you were saying to me, young lady! Will you Hear stop it? Have you gone mad? Why are you beating her like that? How can he treat your daughter like this? You know what? You should mind your own business! She is my daughter, and I will beat her! You can't do that! Look at me, Mrs. Bride. We are not as civilized as you are. If you don't like it, you can go! You will pay for what you are doing to her. Come here. <laughs> I will show you what it means to interfere in my business! Smart Alec. Are you okay? Do you want some water or something? Thank you so much. I'm sorry, I couldn't help but interfere when I saw her behavior. Does she always beat you up? Why did you come to this house? This house is a nightmare. It's impossible to be happy here. If you're smart, you would leave. Mrs. Besame? Sorry, may I come in? Of course you may come in, Nagme. I want to ask you something, um... To hear... Is he really your son? I guess you found out. He is. 
to hear is my son. But I can't embrace him now. I can't smell him and I can't caress his hair. I had to give him to my brother Samal when he was a baby. But how could they do that? How could they want you to do such a thing? But how could... How could they separate a mother from her son? This is just unscrupulous. Brother Samal and Safika's son died during military service. When Brother Samal had a heart attack, I became the one who helped him cling to life. My... My son and me. I used to love Samal as much as my own brother. I was cut to the heart when I saw him like that. And then one night... Tahir. Tahir. Your daddy's little boy. Tahir. Your daddy's little boy. Your daddy's little... Yeah, yeah, I miss my boy. Tahir. Oh, I miss you, my son. Hmm? Oh, my son. I'm so glad you didn't die. I know you didn't die. I know you didn't die, my Tahir. 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 Tahir, son. I didn't understand. If I had known what would happen, oh, if I had known, I would have taken my son at that moment. I would have stopped them. I'm begging, Besame. Give your son to Samal. He thinks he's his son. That would be his joy of living. He would have reason for living. It would give him something to live for. No, but I'm his mother. Samal is like my own brother. <laughs> Alas is also sad for Samal. But he must consent. <sighs> Please, girl. I am helpless, Besame. unable or unwilling, that wouldn't be right. I cannot take him away forcibly. Please, Besame, do what's right here. Please, for God's sake. I wish there were another way. But I can't think of anything. My grandson has died. I need to save my son. I am begging, Besame. I am begging. I'm begging. I'm begging you, please. I'm begging. I'm begging. Oh, thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. We are going to Samal. Come here, child. Come here. That is right. I'll take him now, yes. I'll take him to Samal. Come. 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 Yes. I'll take him. Yes. <laughs> How could I give him away? I did. I am so sorry. My son. He is my son from my own flesh and blood. I carried him in my stomach for nine months. I gave birth to him. I suckled him. But I did not stand up. I cannot do without him. I regret this. You took away my baby. You took away my baby, Alice. Our son's not far away. He's next door. But I 
I can't embrace him and I can't say that he's my son. No. It's because of you. You couldn't object to your mother. You didn't stand up for me. You didn't support me. Damn you! Desenay, one of them is my son and the other one is my brother. What else can I do? I will never forgive you. Never. Never. I will never forgive you. You have saved your brother's life, but now you have killed me. You have just buried us alive. Don't speak that way, Besame. Look, we do love each other. We have our love. If we are together, then, well, come on, listen there to me. There isn't any we anymore. Now forget me. I cannot love you. I do not want someone who can't protect his family. Don't do this, Besame. I can't live without you. Look, we are Besame and Alas. We cannot separate from each other. You have separated me from my son. You have taken him from me. I don't want to be with you anymore. You do not exist for me. You're nothing to me. And from now on, I'll live here for my son. Get out. Get out! I may have given birth to him, but he has never been mine. When I first came to this house, I was like you, in love, full of spirit. Over the years I have withered, and they have taken my son from me, and Alas remarried. This house hasn't given anyone happiness. And now you'll be like me. How can you say that to me? Everyone's fate is different. In a few years, the sparkle in your eyes will die. And life will become so unbearable. Edgeter will protect me. Is that what you think? You should have taken a better look at things before you came here. Your protector already has a woman. What are you talking about? Do you know why Elvon came to this house? Wait, but who's Elvon? Oh, is she the crying girl? Do you know who that girl is? She was Edgedare's girlfriend before you. This is not true. Edgeter would never do such a thing. I know he loves me. You're lying. It was the same thing with all us two. Sooner or later he went to bed with another woman. I put up with this so that I could stay near my son. So, what about you? Can you stand this? You should have taken a better look at things before you came here. Your protector already has a woman. I put up with this so that I could stay near my son. So, 
What about you? Can you stand this? Hello? Hedge there. Please, can you come home? I need to talk to you right now. It is very urgent. Truth. Were you Edgeter's girlfriend before? You will answer me! Why are you saying nothing? What are you doing in here? Get out, come on. What happened? Tell me. Is it true what I've heard? Was that girl your girlfriend? And did you sleep with her as well? <sighs> I wanted to tell you. But I didn't want to make you upset. Don't you touch me. I had no idea that you were this kind of man. But I guess now I see the real you. Look, it's not what you think. And she wasn't my girlfriend. It was only one night. It happened a while ago. Oh, a while ago? But nothing has finished. In this house, there are tears behind every door. All the women have been broken, every one of them. Tell me, Edgeter, is such a life waiting for me as well? Will I have a life with your second wife? Tell me. Just let me explain it. I had to take her in, otherwise they would kill her. I know that you're lying to me. How could you think such a thing? Don't you trust me at all? Knock me. Don't you dare. I don't want a life that is full of tears, okay? Knock me! If you walk away now, you can never return again. My lady, my lady, Mr. Eshder and Mrs. Nagme, they were outside arguing. Mrs. Nagme gave the ring to Mr. Eshder and left. You're sure of that? I am sure, Mrs. Safika, I have seen with my own eyes. Hmm. Looks like the issue's finally finished here. It was easier than I thought. Well... Now that Mrs. Nagme is gone for good, we don't need Elvon here anymore, do we? Go tell Ali to take Elvon home. Now is the time for Elvon to go. going, Mom, huh? Stay out of it. Mind your own business. But, Mom... But are you going to... send her to her brothers to die?
can't believe her. Mrs. Barricat, I swear I didn't say anything. She came to my room. Ali, this girl's job is over here. No! Mrs. Barricat! Mrs. Barricat! I am Get her you. off! Please don't make me go! I can Come on, let's go. It. Stop. Please, Stand no. up. Come. Come. Let's go. Come on. Come on now, girl. Brother Ali, have pity on me. Let me go and you won't see me again. Do not be stubborn, dear. We are doing our job here. Get into the car. Get in. Come on, daughter. Oh, do you have a conscience? Are you really cruel? Mrs. Barricat, how can she be so cruel? <laughs> Hello, Basir. I think they've sent Elvan home. If you hurry, you can catch them on the village road. Don't worry. My dear, it's over now. You made a mistake. And so now you're back early. That's all. It was all a mistake. Let's go back home now. Please wait, Nagme! Listen, Nagme, wait, don't go! They all played a trick on you! Yeah, in order to get rid of you, they got Elvan, and now they're sending her back! You're the only one who can save her now, my sweet Nagme! I called my uncle, but he didn't answer! Please help! No. no! Your job is over here! It's over! Oh, please! Nogme, oh, get in the car. Nogme, Nogme, no. Nogme, open the door. Nogme. Please, 
something, will you? <laughs> Damn, Nagme, I don't want to be seen. Okay. 